Hello to my Libra family. This is Barbit Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of November 8th through the 14th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and join me daily for my quick glance daily readings. Now a huge reminder, Libra, these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, Libra, let's get into the reading. First card, the King of Cups. Next, Major Arcana card, the Moon. And Major Arcana card, the Devil. And the Major Arcana card, the Emperor. We will get to your Oracle cards in a little bit. Wow, 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 Libra. Well, I'm getting a very distinct like vision and message here, Libra. Very interesting. As you're going to be what I'm picking up as the peacemaker this week. There are many strong energies that you're going to be dealing with this week. This could be something that occurs in the workplace. This could be some kind of organization or group that maybe you belong to, or this certainly could like be within the family or extended family. But you're now the one that's taking the role of being the peacemaker and balancing out those scales. Something that you're good at, Libra but it's not going to be an easy task. But I do believe you will have some success this week. Wow. <laughs> All right. Starting with the King of Cups. First card. Now, this could be the first person you come across who's actually needing your assistance, Libra. King of Cups could be a Scorpio individual. And maybe there does need to be a little bit more of emotion in regards to like the situation that's going on with some of the people that you'll be dealing with this week. And the King of Cups is really emotionally detached. He's very calm and mature. And it's not that he doesn't care, but he does keep all his emotions in check. And with you, Libra, I feel... You're going to be bringing everything to the table. You're going to balance everything out. Take everything into consideration. All the facts, the feelings, the emotions, the information. So the King of Cups could be someone in the workplace, could be someone in your family, someone that you're friends with. And again, it could be an organization in the workplace or at home. It's a general reading, so I'm kind of picking up all of those three places. This could be uh, actually taking place in. So yeah, definitely. Let's pull some clarifying cards for the King of Cups. See if we get any other information that'll help us out for the week ahead. Wow, Libra, I cannot tell you the intense energy I'm picking up. <laughs> okay. Six of Cups, Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. Wow. Well, wow. This might be why the King of Cups is trying to take a back seat. There is so much water energy. So with the Six of Cups, what I'm picking up is this is kind of a recurring situation it's been brought up before, so this is something from the past being drudged up again. It's in regards to something that someone someone that's involved is wanting to happen. So it's their wish. And could be with the Ace of Cups, some kind of opportunity coming in. But what this actually is right here is an overflowing cup of emotions brewing. That's what I'm picking up. Wow. No wonder the King of Cups called for backup. Now, next, we have the Major Arcana card, the Moon. 
First thing I'm drawn to is this giant full moon with the crow silhouette taking up like three quarters of it. So the message from this card, definitely. There are things what I want to say, instead of working behind the scenes, brewing behind the scenes for some time now. You're dealing with Pisces energy with this, this card. So it could be something involving a Pisces individual that would be a very emotionally charged individual. Could be working behind the scenes in regards to everything that's coming your way this week. So keep that in mind. Keep that in the background there. But yeah, let's pull some clarifying cards for the moon card. I keep getting drawn to uh, the numerology here, number 18, which is nine. So it's kind of that reviewing energy. So there's something coming up again. Kind of ties into this six of cups energy. Something keeps coming up from the past. And I keep getting that word drudged up again from the past. So this could be a workplace issue. This could be something in regards to friends, neighbors, a group you belong to, or this could be within the family. Those are the three areas that I'm picking up since this is a general reading. If it was a singular reading, I would zone right in on what it exactly is, but okay. Five of cups, two of cups, oh my goodness, and the hermit card, holy cow, Libra. Well, I'm picking up intuitively. Somebody's certainly very unhappy and not moving forward. And it might have something to do with a partnership, a relationship, could be a business partnership, could be a friendship or a love relationship. And the hermit is shining the light for you, Libra, making you aware. And once again, you've got cups energy. This is really emotionally charged energy. So the answers are within. You're going to be able to sort things out, Libra. And boy, what a task. But you've got the hermit energy working for you. But what a task you have for the week ahead. Next, major Kana card, the devil. Now certainly, the moon card here, being a major arcana card, was bringing in change. But the devil card is bringing in change in the worst possible way. This is Capricorn's card in energy. So you could be up a, against a Capricorn. Capricorn could be doing something behind the scenes. So we've got the Pisces energy. We've got the Capricorn's energy. The devil or the Capricorn here could be the instigator for all this trouble. Could have prompted someone involved in doing something that they normally wouldn't, is what I'm kind of picking up from this card. So we're just going to have to pull some clarifying cards to see what role the devil card is playing in this week. And number 15, numerology for this card is six. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's tremendously upsetting the balance and harmony for this week. Nine of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Ace of Swords. Well, definitely somebody's losing a lot of sleep. Could be some or all parties involved. Now, the wheel of fortune is turning, but this time I'm picking up the wheel is not turning like in favor. It's changing things, changing the harmony and balance between all that's involved this week. And the ace of swords is almost like what I'm going to say, the light at the end of, end of the tunnel, provided you get to the truth of the situation at hand. But with the Ace of Swords coming in can be an indication that there is going to be some kind of clarity. So again, what your reading is about, Libra, can be something that's taking place here in the workplace. A lot of conflict going on, differences of opinions, viewpoints, 
could be within the family at home, or it could be something you're dealing with in regards to your friends or neighbors or some kind of group that you might be involved with in your free time. Wow. Okay. <laughs> your last tarot card, Major Arcana card, the Emperor. Aries card in energy. Very fiery energy, very aggressive. The number four energy of this card is not changing, not budging, not moving. And he's firmly sitting on the sword. Wow. And looking at the rest of the cards, look at this. Just staring them down. Wearing his like outer feathers. Almost like ready to do battle. The energy with the Emperor card is very commanding. So you might be dealing with possibly a boss is involved or the head of the family or someone who's the elder. Maybe someone who's in charge of the community. If it's in regards to friends or neighbors, something of that sort. Because the emperor is the main dude here, <laughs> Libra. So you've got Aries and Capricorn and Pisces. You've got the king of cups being Scorpio's energy, trying to mediate what's going on and needing your help, Libra, as you are the one that balances the scales. So let's pull some clarifying cards for the emperor card, but holy cow, this is some pretty powerful energies that you're dealing with this week. And on top of it, in like an emotional all-time high. Wow. All right. The Hierophant. The Ace of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords. All right. In regards to like the Emperor card, that's what we're pulling these cards for. Uh, this is someone that's definitely like the main person kind of in charge and is not going to change their beliefs. There's some kind of maybe opportunity, something to do with money coming into play here, Libra. And now to complicate things further, you've got Gemini's energy coming in as the Knight of Swords. Charging in, almost like coming in to save the day, but that's not what's going to happen here. So a tremendous amount of people are involved with this. Wow. Holy cow. All right. So again, Libra, you're dealing with something that's either in your workplace, in the home, either immediate or extended family. Could have something to do with the upcoming holidays or it could be whatever you do in your free time with friends, neighbors, community. There's obviously like conflict, different viewpoints. And as we see, I think it was here, yeah, an overflowing cup of emotion. Wow. And you're kind of in a different situation that you've ever been in before because you're being like called in by this King of Cups could be a coworker, possibly an HR person, could be someone in your family, could be one of your friends asking you to come in and help out with this situation. And you're dealing with a, a lot of different, very heavy hitters in the zodiac signs. Now, your numerology here for your tarot cards is actually number 38, which reduces to number 11, which is a master number. A lot of power and energy with your cards this week in regards to emotions involved with all these different zodiac signs. Well, let's see what Crystal, your angels and guides are suggesting for the week ahead. Malachite. Well, that's almost like indicating that you're going to have to take several breaks and go take a walk outside in nature. Especially if you're dealing with something in the workplace, you're going to have to take some breaks. You're going to have to continuously like ground your energy, Libra, specifically like through your feet and hands so that you'll get yourself grounded and centered and back in balance. And then you're going to go in and try to do some more mediating with all these astral forces. <laughs> and uh, wow, Malachite's 
probably not the only crystal I would have this week to help you out. Be sure you have turquoise or aquamarine to help you with your speech, to be clear about what it is you're trying to say to all these different signs and individuals. But your angels and guides are indicating here with the malachite crystal to make sure you're taking several breaks. This is not something that's going to resolve like in one afternoon. It's going to take several attempts. Now let's take a look at what the Sacred Traveler Oracle message is for the week ahead. You have Gates of Triumph. Success expands in your life. Well, let's hope so, Libra. <laughs> and I like the name of the card, Gates of Triumph. It's a very hopeful sign for you for the week ahead. It's, this is a, a card and message where it's an indication inner and outer success is headed your way. You're going to have a very thriving state of mind. You're going to be able to reach a goal that you're working toward. And you're going to have some victories. It might be winning some battles, maybe not the war, but winning some battles this week. Getting your point across, trying to get people to agree or compromise. This is a card representing the traveler. You're like the traveler where you're being welcomed in with open arms. And even though you might get blown away and knocked over, you might say, with what I'm feeling is going to be, this is negotiations. You're going to just get up and dust yourself off and you're going to go at it again. So Libra, you got your work cut out for you this week. Just be sure you keep going. Believe in yourself. This is an indication of true success, victory, and yeah, triumph on the other side of this hill. Now, I did pull a tea leaf fortune card for you for the week ahead. You received hat. You will be playing a different role. Well, specifically, what this card represents you're seeing the hat is silhouetted against the sun rising over the ocean. And the ocean on this card represents like the cradle of all creation, while the sunrise indicates new starts, fresh ideas. That's where you come in, Libra. And the hat signifies <laughs> you will soon be playing a different role in your life. So definitely an indication. It doesn't sound like much of a fortune card to me, but... That's what's coming in for the week ahead. You're going to be called in as the peacemaker. You're the one that's going to balance the scales as much as you possibly can for the week ahead with all these energies. Starting with this King of Cups, possibly a Scorpio, calling you in for assistance. And the Moon card here, you might be dealing with a Pisces who's kind of working behind the scenes doesn't want to come to the front where all the action is. And you've got the devil card, meaning uh, a Capricorn can be very manipulating the situation. And then you've got the emperor card. That could be the person in charge. Could be a boss, a CEO, a head of the family, the head of an organization. And your angels and guides are suggesting Malachite crystal for you to get out in nature, go for a walk. Clear your mind of this energy to come back in and begin again. So it's definitely like negotiations coming in and you're being called in to be the peacemaker, the mediator, to get the rational thought going in this situation, trying to get all the parties involved, Pisces, Capricorn, Aries, and we also had, yeah, there is Gemini, the Knight of Swords coming in to complicate things. All of these personalities with emotions, just this overflowing cup of emotions. But your oracle card is an indication you're going to win several battles, if not the main war, but an awful lot of the battles. So there's going to be some compromises, but definitely your fortune for the week is saying to you, Libra, you are definitely going to be playing a different role. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And for a private tarot card reading, my website link is listed below. Love and abundance to my Libra 
family.